NASA flies spacecraft all over the solar system and orbits the Earth. How do we communicate with them when they're so far away? Let's find out from an expert. Hi, I'm Jim Green, Chief Scientist at NASA, and this is the Gravity Assist podcast. In this season of Gravity Assist, we'll go behind the scenes at NASA, and we'll hear from the scientists and engineers and others who make these amazing space missions happen. I'm here with Nasser Chahat, and he is the senior antenna and microwave engineer with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory out in Pasadena, California. Well, you know, uh, communication with our surface assets on Mars is kind of complicated. You know, when we land in Curiosity, I don't see it carrying a big truck with a big dish behind it. So how do we communicate back and forth with, with our surface assets like InSight like perseverance, like curiosity. Yes, so we have two concepts to do so. The first one is uh, to communicate with the orbiter. So we have orbiters uh, around Mars, which we can, they, they are dedicated for science, but for critical event like that, we can use them to relay the data uh, to Earth. And we also have on these landers and rover, uh, high gain antennas that allow us to communicate directly with Earth, but at lower data rates. So it's really a trade of when we should be using the orbiter or when we should be using the high gain antenna. Most of the time we end up using the orbiter because it allows us to transmit the science much faster. Well, you know, we're flying a helicopter on Mars for the first time, and we call that ingenuity. Did you get involved in that, and what's your role? My contribution was with the telecommunication subsystem to ensure that the rover can send uh, uh, commands to the helicopter, and the helicopter can send uh, ima images or telemetry back to the rover. So I worked on the antenna design and also worked on the system engineering. Wow, that sounds really difficult because this is a very small vehicle. What's that antenna look like? I don't remember seeing it. Does it stick out or is it part of, uh, it goes up the top or where is it at? Yes, yeah, so on the top of the helicopter, there is a solar panel which allows us to recharge our battery. And we decided to locate the antenna on the surface because this is what provided the largest area to use as a reflective surface. So this is the simplest type of antenna that you can ever use. This is called monopole. So monopole is basically a single wire. This type of monopole antenna are being used when you need to communicate omnidirectionally meaning we need to communicate this, uh, with the same capabilities in any direction. It's very small, it's about five to six centimeters. So it sounds like though the ingenuity communication is only uh, with, with Perseverance, and then it's up to Perseverance to package that data and then send it up to an orbiter, which then relays it back to Earth. That's, that's exactly it. Altimeter data, confirm. That Ingenuity has performed its first flight of a powered aircraft on another planet. When I saw the first flight, I couldn't help but think of all these hours and working really hard to solve technical problems. This achievement is absolutely historical, and I am happy I got to contribute. 